Rubbing is not racing. Yeah, it told me I couldn't rub. Are you ready to do this? I'm down. Let's get it done. Are you nervous? A little bit. Just because of the stuff I have in the back of the Jeep. I'm very nervous. Have fun. Thank you. All right. You better drive like a pro. <laughs> Ten and two, baby. Here we go. I do feel if you just kept doing this, you would get dizzy. You would kind of lose focus. All right, so honestly, that was kind of cool. It was really fun. It was a lot of fun. I mean, I got the, the old Jeepster up to about 84. Uh, and, um, and it was for charity. So this is yeah. called Laps for Charity. It's four laps around the track, and it's $75, and all the money goes to a children's charity. Yeah, I, it's for a great cause. It was a lot of fun. Um, Something I mean, different. Yeah, who, who could say they've taken their daily driver out on a motor speedway <laughs> and done a couple laps behind a pace car? We wanted to bring Ruby, but they said no Class A, so no. I don't know. Maybe if it had been a van or a B or they'd have let us, but they said they didn't want to risk the biscuit. Although we we would not have gone 80 miles an hour, no. so that's probably why they don't we want us. We would have lapped. We're checking off another item on the bucket list. Yep, that's right. That is the Las Vegas Motor Speedway behind us. Oh, we are so excited to be here. NASCAR reached out and invited us to come as their guests to experience NASCAR in our RV. And let me tell you, it's been an experience so far. We, we got here yesterday afternoon and uh, I've just been like a kid in a candy store. I've been in awe of, of watching everything. Uh, it is pretty, pretty neat to be here and experience this. Yeah, so we get to do three races. Um, the last race, which is Sunday, is the beginning of the playoffs for NASCAR. And of course, we all know Phil knows about playoffs. So we are gonna see how it goes. And we can watch the race actually from the windshield of our RV if we want. We can watch it down below. Uh, they're, they're, I'm just so excited. We can't wait to show you everything there is to do here at NASCAR if you wanna bring your RV. That's right, we are on um, the corner of turn three as you're going into turn three so if you're familiar with the speedway or even any racetrack turn three is where we're sitting so we'll see him coming out of turn two coming down to three and turning into turn four it's gonna be epic I think you have my hat <laughs> you guys walked up and I looked at all of you and I went god they look familiar and then all of a sudden my husband spotted your husband and he's hard to miss and I said oh, I got the hat in my new Jeep we're excited it's our first time is it your first time no we have a motorhome on the infield and we've been here I guess 20 some years on wow. since since they've been doing the infield we've been here a That's, lot that is awesome now what do you like the most about the infield uh it's it's like a party family atmosphere you're not at a hotel where you're mm -hmm. interacting with all kinds of people instead you're here and you're interacting with everybody that loves nascar absolutely so, so all fun. the fans get together yes. well you can wander from tent to tent in the mm -hmm. evening not tent to tent motorhome to motorhome right, in the right, evening right. and see everyone and talk and well really friendly. it's a it's an RVing. it's just the community Yes. It's just the RVers in a different spot. So yes. we all know RV and community is the best. Yes. All right, we are entering the fan zone. Whoop, whoop. And we got right in front of us a race car. All right, I found my ride. I'm wondering if we can uh, flat tow it behind the rig. <laughs> we can put some beer in that bad boy. Bill, I found your trailer right here, your favorite. Yeah, I'm an Eminem fan. This is our third day here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and we have been having a blast. You hear that? <laughs> vroom, vroom. We 
We've been hearing a lot of that. Yeah, it uh, started last night uh, with the truck series. It was the Victoria's Voice Foundation 200 last night that we yeah. watched. Uh, so we were able to go down the pit row right as they started. Then we came up to the rig and we watched it from up here on the hill. So you can kind of see our view of the track here. We're on the um, start of turn three going into turn four. Yeah, so it was really cool to get such different perspectives. Sitting up here, being down, you know, pit row, we could see it actually from the seats too if we wanted. Uh, it's been really nice to explore. Yeah, and right now the cars that you heard behind us, uh, they're out here uh, checking things out, tuning things up before their race, which is the Alsco Uniforms 302. Yeah. Um, Good job, to, Phil. Trying to get all these races down. There's so many. <laughs> um, but they're out here just practicing. The race is in a few hours, so it's pretty cool to watch them uh, test it and uh, just see the different cars on the track early on. Oh, guess what we got to do? Yeah. Um, goat yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Goat Yoga was on the schedule this morning down at the infill tent. So they do have events planned for RVers and for anybody that's here camping. Now, uh, that is if you're camping in the inner circle. Right, so, inner circle. You know, inside the track or here on Motorhome Hill, there are activities just every day, all day long for everybody. And it is fun. it was fun to go down there and, and uh, into the tent. They call it the infield, well, I guess the infill tent. I thought it was a different name. But... Uh, this should be the infield fun center because last <laughs> night they were down there doing, they were teaching line dancing. So if you didn't know how to line dance or there's so many different line dances, they had a guy that was teaching you and then they had... A bunch of dancers. Yeah, game, they call yeah. them game attendants because yeah. there's games and activities and everything else in the infield to do. But I'm telling you, it is, it's just a ton of fun and it seems like everywhere we turn, oh, here comes some now. And they're not even... There were two of them right there. They're not even wide open. Oh, they're, no. They're just cruising. They're probably going 100 miles an hour, you know, I'd say Just warming the tires. <laughs> yeah. I hope, I hope you're feeling it because yeah. there is, like, energy in the air when you're here listening. And, and it is a, a, a full sense experience. It's not just hearing it. Last night we were sitting up here. We could feel the breeze yeah. created by the cars. as And it was... I, breeze is an understatement, but we could feel it. The rustle of the wind and the dirt. I mean, you could see kind of the little cloud following you could, them. You could smell the burning rubber yes, and the fuel. Yes, yes. I mean, there were, th I think, 38 trucks on the track last night. And they're coming down at us out of turn two to, into turn three on that straightaway. And they're doing 170, 180 plus. And in that kind of group, you're going to feel it. <laughs> I know you haven't seen them a lot, but we, right next door to us, is our friends to be determined. And Peyton is a serious NASCAR fan. So we are thrilled that we are here with them and experiencing it with them because he really is showing us the ropes. Yeah. So last night when we were up here, we were sitting in our lawn chairs watching it with, of course, the radio on. That's Hold giving, tight. Uh oh, Hold tight. change of arms. Well, okay. The radio is on, giving us a play-by-play, -play, and he had his TV on, so if something big happened and there was we a wreck. wanted the details, we ran over to the TV to check it out. We made it to the other side in the grandstands, and I just wanted you guys to see the view behind us. So while you're here watching the race, not only do you get to see the competition, down on the speedway, but fast car. But you also get to see those amazing mountains right in front of you. Let me move my fat you head. Can, you cannot miss them. They are gorgeous, and I'm sure our GoPro really does not show how awesome they are. And as the sun's going down in the evening, that red rock is. You know, I really wish they would, you know, slow down when they come past us so that we could talk normally. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's all about us. They, you know, we met the, the, the track president. Maybe we can talk to him so we can get him <laughs> to slow down just a hair. Muffle the noise so we can yeah. talk on video. <laughs> but let me tell you, this is so much fun. I mean, I'm going to step behind the camera. Look at this. That was number 43 flying along. Yeah. Don't is, ask me his name because I don't know. Well, this is the, um, the Xfinity Series cars here. Um, these aren't the, the true NASCAR drivers, so these guys are like the understudy. Junior varsity. Junior varsity, or yeah. or what is it in baseball? The minors. Minor leagues, or the JUCOs. Uh, JUCOs. Junior college. 
sports. Oh. My sports peeps will know. <laughs> That's why I said understudy. You know, I was in the drama club. <laughs> All right, I know this is going to surprise you, but these ex Navy sailors have found where we might be spending most of the time during the race. Yeah, oddly I bet enough, you'll never guess. Oddly enough, they have a draft bar here. Woo -woo, check it out. Food and eats. Right there. Drinks. All right. We'll come back when they're open. We still have a few hours before they open up yet, but we are getting the lay of the land. Saturday's race is about to start. So, before it starts, everybody has to pick a winner. I am going to choose, I have no clue, but I'm choosing, I'm choosing number 16. He's second in the poll, so I thought, yeah, why not? No? Spoken like a true rookie. <laughs> I have no clue. I, I, I have no dog in the race. I know nothing about any of these racers. Based on what my NASCAR expert said sitting to my left, I'm going with 22. He's the pole sitter. I was going to say that because that's number one, but I'm like, eh, that's an obvious choice. I don't know. Who do, I don't know. Tell me some names. All right, make sure you talk loud for me. And I don't even know who the driver is. I got a cold. I can't talk loud. So the guy that I picked, number 22, is a local Las Vegas native. He's been here for 30 years. He just jumped in from a uh, helicopter. Oh, no, no, that wasn't him. Oh, that wasn't him? Who oh, I thought it was. So obviously you okay, really have know. no dog in the race. Oh, no, he's starting 16. The guy that jumped in was starting 16. I'm not sure where he starts. Uh, What's his number? I don't Josh know. He's not that Matt, high. Matt, somebody. He's not that well-known. He's not that high up. Yeah, in the I, I should have known it's his first race, but I'm not picking it. I'm still sticking with 22. Okay. 22. So is let's go choice. with Peyton, who actually knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I, I think the 16 or 22 have a great shot. Uh, I'm gonna go with Justin Allgaier at number seven, so I don't copy anybody else. Okay. okay. He's sitting third in the poll right now. I don't know who. Tell me some names. I can't remember. Pick a like. What's your lucky number? Just look over there at the polls number and nine. just pick a number. What's your lucky number? number? What's his name? Number one is a good number. What's his name? One, I want one of Dale Jr.'s teams to win. So, like, one, seven, eight, nine. I want Dale Jr., one of your guys needs to win today. All right, so you heard it here at the end of the race. In case you couldn't hear Andrea since the wind, well, the wind's blowing a little bit. She said one, seven, eight, or nine, which I think is cheating a little bit because she's not committing. Look, but we'll see. She's driving. She's These guys, the I'm not really sure where they are. <laughs> so they're at the uh, competition caution right now, a lap 45. So it's pretty good so far. Big wreck a minute ago that took out uh, three contenders. So I have to tell you, it makes a huge difference when you have these and you can hear really what's going on on the race, not just from like the announcer radio side, but actually from the car itself. All right, the race is over and I know you're dying to know who won. I can tell me. you, it wasn't me. My okay. guy was seventh. Mine was fourth. I was second. I was first, second, and third. Don't yeah, right. so, and and so 17th she got, and 22nd, and she has an asterisk by her name. Right, when you choose all of a whole team to win, yeah. obviously <laughs> your odds are much better. It means I won. That's right. <laughs> I mean, that was impressive, man. I, I really knew what you guys are doing. Yeah, you know, I'm a cool for you from here on out, man. That's, that's awesome. great. Appreciate, man. appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you. Did you see that car? Did you see that? It just proves Phil's theory. If you're not rubbing, you're not racing. <laughs> that car you just saw come out of that garage was actually getting tested. They use lasers to make sure they are actually within specs you, after the race. Do they let you at least go to the bathroom first? No, no, no. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, you sweat them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right That's on. Right. That's what I need to do. I need to do. Right I probably sweat them. Wow. Well, they're damn good race. 
Campers on the we love you guys. This has been the Camper Appreciation Party. We still got some music coming up. Win. We still got I never win. I never win. Welcome to Sunday at NASCAR. Yep, today's the big race. It is the South Point 400. Yes, and we are we are super excited to be here. Look, look, we're, we get behind the scenes passes. Where else can you go in it? He says, "Hey, where else can you go in the sporting world and get this close to the teams, the equipment, the racers? I mean, this is just phenomenal." Yeah, so of course today is the biggest race, so Phil and I have been looking over the drivers and we have to pick our driver for today. I'm not sure who I'm picking yet though. <laughs> I've got mine in, in my numbers. I've got two that uh, I'm going to be pulling for today uh, and we'll reveal that later. I don't want to tip my hand and Stacy steal my number. Well, I do have to say that right now with COVID and stuff going on, not everyone can get this close to everyone. They're really limiting. Um, how many people come back here so we do have VIP passes so I just want to make you guys aware of that for whenever you decide to come out and camp in the infield at NASCAR yeah and it's I'm telling you if you haven't done it you need to start crushing cans saving your pennies now because this is one heck of an experience yeah we are still having a blast so let's see what drivers we can meet see some pit crew moving some tires around and just really <laughs> see all the activity because you can feel the the, the energy, to yeah, brew. yeah. Of course, we're walking around NASCAR, so what does Phil do? He stops to talk to the fellas, taking a break to find out if they have football updates. All right, Andrea, I gotta say that shirt you have on is quite fabulous. I'm quite proud to be a military family. And where did you find that amazing shirt? Um, where do I answer? On their blog. <laughs> what do I under answer? Under merch. No, under merch on Today is Someday. So you can see I didn't prep her ahead of time. No, no. But I love it. Feels super nice. Definitely proud to be a military family. Wife, daughter, mother. That's right. Love and it. Peyton has on the accompanying shirt. So as soon as I tackle him and hold him down for a minute, I'll show you the veteran side. All right. He won this he won this race last year, so I might have to pull for number one. He's good to military. Monster. All right, I have no idea what all she's doing there. That whole monster jumping around thing. Obviously, I'm not. I'm not into NASCAR enough to have it all figured out. Oh, here's the accompanying shirt. It's not shirt. a thing. It's something my wife does. I can't control it. It's not a. It's not a monster. It's thing. not a real NASCAR. Go event. Kurt, number one. That's all right. So here's the accompanying um, shirt I was telling you about that goes with the family shirt. So see, the veteran can have, and as you can see, their branch as well. Even though it's Air Force, yep. I won't hold it against him. Go Air Force. We'll we'll let it slide. Aim high. Hold up. I missed something, but I heard Air Force. Go, Go Air, Air Force. Force. Go Air Force. We are NASCAR novices, as we've told you, so we have to state a clarification. <laughs> we were wrong yesterday. Shocker. Yeah. So when we when we said that the uh, drivers of the Xfinity Series were testing or practicing yesterday, not so much. <laughs> that was the NASCAR experience mm -hmm. uh, folks that paid to be driven around the track um, at over 100 plus miles, miles an, an hour. hour. Yeah, so that's what that was. So sorry for missing for me. All right, here we are, Sunday, right before the start of the NASCAR South Point 400. And now we're going to pick, we're going to make our picks on who we think is going to win the race. I'm going with number five. All right. Uh, no, lady, just I pick. don't have a sign. I don't even know numbers. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Just pick. One or two or twenty-one. All right, I'll go. For, I'll go for twenty-one. I'm going for one or two. There she goes, cheating Multiple again. Asterisk. Number one or number two. Yeah. Either of okay. those guys. I'm going for number five. Five or twelve.
just finished checking out Pit Row after stage two. Stage, stage two. two. Yep. And it was so cool to watch the pit crew flying over the wall, doing what they need to do in like seconds. Yeah, they're really good at what they do. It's an orchestra. It's just amazing. They can, they can change four tires and fill it up with fuel in you know, 11, 12, 13 seconds. It's, it's nuts. And you can see all the technology and all the fine tuning they're doing even after the fact. Like they're scraping the tires, they're measuring the air pressure, they're getting all these calculations and numbers so they know what's working and what's not working. That's right. Some of the stuff we never thought about was all the technical stuff they have to do after the race. So they're in there, the officials have to double check the cars, make sure they're still within standards, make sure there was no changes. It's really crazy, all the stuff they have to do. Yeah, look, the inspector's down there on the ground with them, watching them <laughs> take things off or check something. It's pretty cool. When we hit the road, the, one of the things we wanted to do is experience a lot of new things, things we've never done before, and even things we hadn't even imagined ourselves doing, and this fit the bill. To see it on TV and experience it here live doesn't even compare. Yeah. This is hands down much a much better way to see a race. This place, you not only feel it, you smell it, you hear oh, it. Oh yeah. It really sucks you in, especially if you do what we did and pick a driver and root for him the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it was, I'm, I mean, I was overwhelmed. I mean, it was just being down in the garage area, meeting some of the drivers, just seeing the crew, talking to the crew. I mean, it was, I don't know any other word to say, but just phenomenal. I had a, had a fantastic time. And there definitely is a huge community here of our veers that are NASCAR fans, you know, down in the infield, which is emptying out quickly today, there were a ton of people and gathering together in the infield, they were get togethers and hangouts and it was a lot of fun. So in case you're wondering, we forgot to update you last night, it was dark and we were tired, but none of our drivers won. <laughs> no, mine actually came in 10th, the guy I picked on our channel, yeah. I picked number five, he came picked, in 10th. 19. I picked a couple, so yes. one of mine came in for yeah. We are headed to Balloon Fiesta, so That's we right. are hoping we see as much of you guys as we can, um, but we got to hit the road so we can get there. That's right. So remember, if you see us at Balloon Fiesta, come up to us. We're going to give you something. You're going to want to. You're, you're going to want to find us. Um, follow the social medias: Instagram, Facebook, our village, and our webpage todayisomeday.net for all of our uh, Balloon Fiesta updates daily. We got a beautiful